garbagemen come, they are not often quiet. They shout and they rumble, they roar and they riot. They take all our leavings and squash them together in their large and bellowing garbage compressor. They take Timmy's white socks with the holes in the bottoms and Fred's old dead frogs in the box that he caught them in and turn them into young Fermi's white frocks and a brox with no bottoms with Ted's yucky saws. When the garbage men come, they are not often subtle. They take what they want and they brook no rebuttal. They squish it and stomp it and clank it together at any old hour in the nastiest weather. And then Julie's burnt bacon and Carl's cute dead cat meet an old mustard plaster and Don's ugly hat and become a mistaken old blaster that fried a cute hat at an old cat a bard though he died. Garbage men come, it is often confusing just what they are gaining from what we are losing. But with all of those items stuffed into a truck, they might meet up at last with a good piece of luck. And that old coffee grinder that never did much might just work on that liver that Joe wouldn't touch. And with junk from Jeff's garden, become fine pâté, like they spread on the bread on the Champs d'Elysees. Garbage men come, I don't know what they'd say if they knew that their work had become so creative. The dishes, the novels, the sculpture, the art, when you squash all together what once was a part. Sure, the trucks all are noisy, the depots all stink, but just think of what's made from what's under your sink. So I won't feel so bad at long last, don't you see, when the garbage men come and they take away me. And if you feel like a garbage, here's what you should do. Just get squashed with another and make your own goo. Ha, ha, ha.